Hey, man, shout out to the LDBC, man. Shout out to my brothers, Mario, Ticket, the hardest workers on YouTube. If y'all not, y'all please subscribe to NBA Latina at Mario's channel, man. Great content creator, man. Great knowledge of the game. He a Denver Nuggets fan. That's the place where you want to be. Shout out to my brother, Showtime Sports on Point. Shout out to my brother, Mookie Jones, a.k.a. Radar Sports Debates. Shout out to my brothers, Kareem and Elder, the OGs. Shout out to my brother, Old Head Podcast. Greenleaf exclusive. I see your rockers, my boy. Shout out to Big Tone. Y'all subscribe to Big Tone channel. Shout out to Polo. Y'all subscribe to Straight to the Point Sports and Entertainment. Shout out to Two Raw. Shout out to LB. Man, shout out to FIL. Shout out to, man, shout out to all, everybody I support, man. It's a lot of others I support. But let's get to it, man. Uh, Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> Basically a half game away from the field spot, man. And end of the day, thing, when you think things couldn't get worse for the strippers, things are getting worse. The Dallas Mavericks will catch the Pelicans. The Dallas Mavericks will be a fourth or fifth seed. And Luca will have the opportunity to make it third time in charm and beat the Los Angeles Clippers. He got a running mate in Kyrie Irving now. The Dallas Mavericks have been playing great basketball as of late. Uh, guys can sit up there and try to downplay Dallas and try to act like you go off a of past success due to the fact that um, they beat him twice, but Luca was younger. Luca did not have the squad that he has now. He didn't have another guy that could take over a game on the elite level as he can. He got a 50-40-90 guy, Kyrie Irving, that is very clutch, that has been in big-time moments. Seeing Kyrie Irving play elite defense as well in big-time moments as well, a la Stephen Curry. We've seen him. He could turn it on when he wants to defensively. When he went against with James Harden, the first game that the Brooklyn Nets played the Philadelphia 76ers, when Harden got traded for Brooklyn, Kyrie Irving locked down James Harden. James Harden couldn't do a damn thing against Kyrie Irving. And here's the kick. The strippers have no answer for Kyrie Irving. The strippers have nobody that can tame Kyrie Irving. And the, and, the, and the Mavericks with the moves by getting the gaffer. Gaffer has been great. Is, and he's very underrated, and he's been great with Dallas. Getting P.J. Washington, a stretch four that could do all the small things, knock down shots, getting them great production. It's been great as well. Tim Harder had been great off the bench. Dante Exum, been clapping guys. You've seen the elite defense he put on De'Ara Fox. We haven't seen guys that could stay in front of De'Ara Fox like Dante Exum did. So when people look at it, how hot they've been, how solid they've been lately, ever since the All-Star break, the Dallas Mavericks are a team to be reckoned with, you guys. And the Dallas Mavericks, I don't think Luka Doncic will lose to the Clippers for a third time. I think the Mavericks will beat the Clippers in six games. And the Clippers will lose in the first round. I'm telling you guys this now. I'm not, I'm not trolling. I'm not trying to talk shit like, 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 hey, yeah, it's Showtime, yeah, yeah, it's another clip of stream. I got, I won't smoke with y'all. And, and Crook Town, peace, salute. This go keep coming. This shit just real, man. Niggas trying, niggas trying to damn play Dallas and like they not a threat, and they are. Clippers, y'all not facing the Pelicans first round. Y'all are facing Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks. And y'all can't fuck with Kyrie Irving. Y'all have no answer for Kyrie Irving. Luka Doncic, hell, he ain't got to worry about getting clamped up because, hell, he got the assassin. He got the heartbreak kid. Man, look. Elania, Showtime, my brothers, I'll take y'all money. I'm going to make a light bet with y'all because y'all are my brothers, but I'm going to take y'all, man. Crook Town P, you can join the game. And y'all heard of this, right? Never load up on a nigga that gamble. If you ever shot dice before where everybody trying to go against the money, man, they get their ass tore up. So I'm telling y'all now, y'all don't need to go against the money, man. Y'all don't need to go against her. 
I just stand down and just watch the show. Bet me next round. Boy, it ain't going to be a next round, so you ain't going to have another opportunity to bet. And, and, and then when it comes to speaking on my team, I told y'all what my teams was when the season began. I told y'all we were, the Grizzlies wasn't going to make the playoffs because John Moran missed too many games. Then, then he got hurt. So to me, him getting hurt actually helped us. Then you look at my Chicago Bulls. I said, we're going to be a play-in team. And look at us, we in the play-in. And then if we do get through the play-in, we're going to get gentlemen swept in the first round by the Boston Celtics. So I told you guys what my team is going to be. I told you guys how my team is going to operate. Stripper fans, when the hell y'all going to face reality and tell the truth about your teams like I did? Do I do? Do you guys think I want to sit there and say my Grizzlies gonna be in the lottery? I predicted that. Did you guys think I want to say my Bulls gonna be a playing team? No, but I know who they are. So the thing about y'all, I'm honest. Y'all got wishful thinking. Y'all just got hopes and dreams. Y'all just <laughs> y'all just praying to the gods that somehow, some way, shit gonna go perfect for the strippers. And guess what? It ain't. <laughs> y'all worst nightmares in front of y'all. Y'all motherfuckers thought you were going to get the Pelicans team, a team with no experience, a team that dealt with, got their best score hurt. And y'all thought y'all were going to get them, and you know CJ McCullough would choke. So y'all thought y'all were going to have it easy. Nah, motherfuckers. Y'all got to go through the Dallas Mavericks first round. I'm telling y'all this now, man. The Dallas Mavericks are sending the strippers home in the first round with ease. With ease. And I'm telling y'all this now, man. That just how it's going to be, man. Y'all look, I'm driving because I was going to pull up some shit that's in my other phone to let y'all know how great the Dallas Mavericks have been. But, you know, end of the day, man, I'm going to drop the link. I'm going to let my brothers come in and cook. Showtime may come in and troll me a little bit. I'm going to troll his ass right back. Elania may come in and talk his little Texas slang. I'm going to cook his ass. He should be one of Dallas to win. You a Texas nigga. You should want Dallas or the Houston Rockets to win. And your, your punk ass sit up there when Indiana blew out the Clippers. You ain't say shit about what your Pacers did. You worried about Kawhi Leonard. So to me, you're not really a Pacers fan. You already switched up on the Knicks. You just switched up on the Pacers. You just dick ride Kawhi Leonard. Quick down, quick down, P. You my nigga. You want hundred because you you a clipper through and through. But nigga, just you never been delusional, so I don't want you to start that trend right now. Showtime, you really never been delusional, Alanian. Hell, shit. You you should know how it is when you're dealing with James Harden. So you should have first-hand experience and let the Clipper Nation know that, hey, man, it ain't looking good for us, bro, man. Y'all got my boy Harden with us. So you should warn you should warn Clipper Nation of what Harden's going to do. Like I said, if any team going against the strippers, all you got to do is make sure it gets to a game six. If it gets to a game six, you're going to win game six, and you're damn sure going to win game seven. That's all you that's all you gotta do. Any team in the West. Just make sure you get to a game six. <laughs> you got the you got the you you got you got the worst nigga, you got the worst nigga in the NBA, damn the NBA history, and game sixes and sevens on the roster. You got Paul George, you got one of the worst playoff careers from a so-called superstar damn near in history. The nigga only shoot for the 43% from the field his whole goddamn career and only averaged 21 points, but y'all want to give him credit for Indiana. That was a straight-up team effort in Indiana. His last year in Indiana, guess what he did? Choked against the uh, Toronto Raptors, lost for seven games, and got outplayed by DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> y'all, y'all, believe, y'all believe in Paul George, too? Man, y'all niggas get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. I better drop the link, man. Y'all motherfuckers think y'all great. Y'all for the y'all to get y'all asses kicked by Luke and Kyrie Irving the first goddamn round. Mario, drop that goddamn link. Let these niggas in. Hey, I'm gonna let that ass talk. I ain't gonna put them backstage. I ain't gonna let them do shit. 
and I ain't beefing with y'all Showtime. I just I just want y'all to I just want the overall Clipper Nation just to just to soak everything in. Just be on chill mode. Don't be bragging. Stop blaming Tyrone Lou. Uh, stop stop over evaluating the two wins y'all just had against Philly and the Magic. It was only the Philadelphia 76ers without Embiid and a young ass Orlando Magic team that had a million turnovers. Man, look, you guys don't need to overblow everything. And at the end of the day, Kawhi Leonard cannot overcome the three the three guys. Look, look, man, at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to say about Kawhi Leonard. You guys rely on the nigga that been on long-term disability his whole time with the Clippers. Then, then, when, you did, then when you did with um, James Harden, you did with a nigga that hang out with a rapper that paint his nails with and little baby. Then you got Russell Westbrook. He love to put dresses on. Then you got a nigga and Paul George. He fall in love with strippers. You got all that combination on that team. And, and y'all got faith and y'all got belief in that team. Y'all really believe in that team. They not scary, man. A Herm ain't just ain't talking because I could throw up numbers. But I don't feel like throwing up numbers. I don't even feel like doing that because that's the easiest thing to do. That's the easiest thing to do. Because if I throw up the numbers, y'all going to be scared of shit. Y'all going to be scared of shit. And, and Khalil, who cares who my team is? I told you, everybody should know Herm's team as much as I troll. <laughs> y'all should know my teams, but look, the thing is, y'all can't troll me about my teams because y'all can't tell me shit that I ain't already said. Y'all can't tell me shit that I already said. At least my Chicago Bulls got six championships. At least my Memphis Grizzlies, we done the same thing the Clippers did. We made it to a conference finals before they did. And they've been in the NBA longer than the Grizzlies. And we made it to the Russian Conference Finals before them. So what What can you tell me about my team that I don't already know? And let me text this nigga Mario again, man. Mario. Yeah, there go Mario. There you go. So, man, y'all tripping, man. And by the way, too, y'all, the last 20 games, the Dallas Mavericks been 14 to 6 the last 20 games. <laughs> they clicking right at the right time, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, Mario. <laughs> yeah, Herm. Yeah, Herm. Yeah, what's happening, nigga? What up, man? Man, shit, just talking shit about stripping nation, man. And, 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 you know, just telling the truth about what the Dallas Mavericks going to do to their ass. You know, when they face off in the first round. Because it ain't going to be the Pelicans. I told niggas the Pelicans going to drop to the 6th seed, possibly the 7th. So, I'm telling niggas now, man, they, they, they got to worry They got worry about They got worry about this damn uh, Dallas Mavericks first round. Yo, 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 what up, Herm? Yo, Herm, hey, what, what up? What, 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 what up, man? <laughs> what, what your capping ass going to say? Because you ain't Pacers Nation no more. I'm keeping you out of Pacers Nation. <laughs> I'm keeping yo, you Herm. out of Pacers well, anyway, Nation. Well, anyway, oh, but your, your, your team blew out the strippers, but you still was worried about <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. You a sad individual, man. You a sad individual. But it ain't surprising from a New York nigga that, that quit on the Knicks. That quit on the Knicks in 94 because Reggie Miller cooked their ass. And you became a Pacer fan leaving the New York Knicks. So, I mean, it ain't shit surprising when it comes to you. Well, well anyway, poor George last year with the Pacers, it, 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 we got swept by the Cats. You talk, you were talking about that other year. We played yeah, that was the year before. That was the year before. Yeah, yeah, that was the year before. Yeah. But anyway, so you so why the, the Mavericks is not better than the Clippers? Like, what are you talking about, bro? The Dallas like, Mavericks have been playing better basketball than the Clippers, and the Dallas Mavericks. No, I don't look at, team. Do you think they're a better team? Yes, they've probably been playing better lately, but they're not a better yes, team. Yes, they than are. The they are a better overall team now because they got the size. They got defenders that can yeah. defend on a perimeter now with Dante Exum and Grant Williams there. 
Um, you Dante, got, uh, Exum, did Dante Exum can't defend. Hey, he can't. No, no, he did. Guess what, Elaine? Guess what, Elaine? Got Grant Williams, nigga. They, nah, don't nah, even, nah. they don't even got great. Hey, 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 hey. That's my bad. About? I'm mixing up another name. Hey, I met PJ Washington. I met PJ Washington. Yeah, 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 I met PJ Washington. Yeah, 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 I met PJ Washington. Hey, hey, you trying, you trying to step on me, nigga? You trying to step on me, nigga? You can't step on me. You can't. Hey, 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 you retarded, nigga. Hey, 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 Dante Exum. Dante Exum, D W D M A Fox. Something that y'all motherfuckers can't do. Something that y'all motherfuckers can't do. You see what I'm talking about? Nigga, Greg Williams ain't on that team no more, nigga. Nigga, I'm talking about Dante Exum, nigga. You beautiful, boy. D got D got Showtime. D got Showtime. Captain ass wanna wanna uh, cheer up Elania. Come on, Elania. Good job, man. Cook his <laughs> ass, man. <laughs> guess what? The da- guess what? Kyrie Irving or Luca Dunn's gonna cook y'all. Yo, wait. Hey, hey, guess what? Wait, hey, 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 hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, the better duo. The better duo in the NBA. Hey, hey, Luca Dunn and Kyrie Irving is a better duo than Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Fuck niggas. And y'all can say what y'all want. Kyrie Irving got sweat. His last time. Kyrie Irving hit the biggest shot. Hey, Kyrie Irving hit the biggest shot in finals history. Fuck niggas. What big shot? What big shot? Paul George is. What big shot Paul George hit, nigga? Why are you talking your shit, nigga? Hey, 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 the rhythms, the rhythms. Hey, your worst nightmare finna come true, you motherfucker. Y'all playing the Mavericks first round, nigga. Hey, hey, the rhythms. I'm going to take your money. I'm going to take Atlanta money. I'm going to take Showtime money. Nigga, I'm going to take anybody money. Quick time money. I'm taking all y'all motherfucking money, nigga. And Harden, hey, guess what, Showtime? Kyrie Irving gonna go on Harden, nigga. And Kyrie Irving clumped Harden before, nigga. So they go there, nigga. We gonna put Kyrie Irving. Hey, hey, guess what, guess what? I'm a Dallas Mavericks fan now, nigga. Hey, Kyrie Irving go D up goddamn, goddamn uh, Paul George. Dante Exum go D up. No, no, Kyrie Irving go D up goddamn Dante Exum. Keep talking about and defense. Hey, hey, Khalil, you want to bet that too? You say Clippers in five. You want to bet that too? I take that money too. I take that money too. I take your money too. Luka Doncic got a running man, and Gafford and Gaffer is better than Zubac. Gaffer's better right. than goddamn Thais. Hey, hey, Gaffer's better than y'all got. And PJ Washington, PJ Washington better than Thais. PJ Washington better than PJ Tucker. And PJ Washington better than anybody coming off that bitch, Tim Hardaway Jr. How he's playing right now. I take Tim Hardaway Jr. over Norman Powell right now. That nigga trash. Right now. Right now, I take him over him right now. That green, that green nigga that they got over there, better than Norman Powell and them. Yo, dude, you never said we can keep going now. He said oh, Tim Hardaway Jr., man. Get out of here, bro. He better he playing better than Norman Powell right now, nigga. Fuck we talk about the playoffs. We talk about the playoffs. Tim Hardaway Jr. ain't been doing number throwing a bunch of bricks lately, bro. I don't know what you talking about. Hey man. He ain't been shooting the ball. Hey, hey, my niggas 14 to 6 last 20 games. What the Clippers so? are. Yeah, so? yeah. What the Clippers who, who, who got the better record? Who got the better record? Uh, I mean, they, they only oh. a game and a half back. Answer the question. Answer they only a game and a half back. You you, you, you had to like you, you had to like they far back. Answer the you had to like they far back. You had to like they far back, nigga. I can see y'all had a five game lead over the Mavs. Y'all only got a game and a half over the Mavs. Yo, man, how many times? Yo, wait, wait, yo, yo, hurts. How many times? Game over the how many? Yo, how many times? Yo, how many times Kawhi beat um Luca in the playoffs? Twice, right? Two times. Sorry, yeah, like, but, on, but, but 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 guess what? Luca, but guess Luca, what? Hey, Luca was a baby, and Luca didn't have any. Yeah, he was and a baby. Oh my Przingis, god. And, and he the the now hold on, he hey, hold on. Hey, I'm telling you something play. that's on record. Chris Przingis admitted that he didn't try against the Clippers. I mean, now, now, now that Kawhi got more help over there. You're going to see him lock up on Luca, man. 
you gonna see. Yeah. Oh, uh, yo. Um. Uh, and, and when they played them, when they played them last time, the, the match didn't even win the home game. They couldn't even win the home game. I'm gonna tell you how my nigga look. I'm gonna tell you how my nigga Kyrie looking right now, man. Last twenty games, my nigga averaged twenty five point seven. Five rebounds, four point nine assists. And these ass. Well, I'm not going to hear about some stats. Hey, hey, I'm going to stat. Stat boy, man. Stat. Hey, hey, hey. Him and Luka got to average 30 to beat us, nigga. No, they don't. Hey, guess what? Yeah, Paul, George, Paul George Paul George got to average 32. Nah. Yeah. What? Yeah, yes, he do. Because, see, got, see, 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 Elani, see, 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 I'm disappointed. We got scorers all over our lineup, bro. That's and, and Dallas do, too. All the way down to. To and Dallas Colorado, do too. Russell Westbrook, nigga, we got, we got what we need, nigga. I mean, Dallas do too, though. Dallas got two players, nigga. Two. That's players. a lie. Gafford, Gaffer better than any. Gaffer better than anybody. Any big man y'all got. Gaffer playing good ball. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, PJ Washington better than any big man y'all got. But for scoring though, them niggas ain't gonna score them. They ain't Shit, Gaffer will score on, on, on the Clippers. Who go hold Gaffer? I'm gonna give you about fourteen. 14 but who gonna hold Gafford over there though? Nigga Zubak, nigga. Zubak can't hold no <laughs> damn Gafford. Man, Gafford ain't nobody, bro. Stop this shit. No, man. Yeah. 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 Who y'all got for Kyrie Irving? That's what y'all need to worry about. Who y'all got for him? T Man, nigga. T Man can't hold no damn Kyrie Irving. He slow him down. He can't slow him down. And he can't Yo, Kyrie Irving hasn't done nothing in the playoffs since. We're up with the cat, man. Come on, bro. And guess what? And guess what? Paul George ain't done nothing in the playoffs ever. So, <laughs> so, so I mean, hey, I mean, we can play that game. We can play that game. Oh, you want to play that game? Oh, we can play that game. Come on. All right. What? Come on. 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 He can't. Now, he got he Kyrie Irving. That's the help. And who got swept right. by the Celtics? His last playoffs. He got swept. Now, now, now uh, uh, better uh, yet, uh, since you want to bring up Kyrie Irving in Boston, you got to remember the first year of Boston. Kyrie Irving was leader. Was the leader in MVP conversation. Yeah, and they went Boston. to the conference. Now, hold on. They went to the conference. Now, now, hold on, Ant. Shut up. Boston had the best record in the NBA. That first year he was in Boston, he had a season and the shoulder injury. So that's why that season didn't play out, but Kyrie Irving was the best player. But they went to the conference finals. What happened that year? So, 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 so the same, oh, so the same. Story. Why no, no, hold on, hold on. Why hey, hey, I'm getting to a goddamn point. I'm getting to a goddamn point. I'm getting to a goddamn point. Just like how those stripper fans always talk about, man, 2021, if it wasn't for uh, wasn't for the nigga in Utah hurting him and all that, and Kyrie Irving didn't have that shoulder injury, the Boston Celtics would have won, nigga. So I can use the same goddamn logic. Because Boston was the best team in the league. Kyrie Irving was the best player in the league at the time. He was the leader in the MVP vote. What year? You talking about the year they lost the Cavs? Nigga, his first year in Boston. The year they lost the Cavs? 2018. Yeah, when they lost the Cavs. No, nah, yeah, nigga, he wasn't playing. <laughs> nigga, he didn't play. Deal with it. Yeah, he didn't play. Yeah, he didn't play. But he played the next year, and yeah. Milwaukee with his ass in the second round. He, he played the next year. He ain't going to be shit off coming on straight with that. But the thing about Kyrie is, man, them tough shots that he be shooting, uh, Terrence Mann going to make them shots a little bit tougher. No, he ain't. He can't we throw know. in front of no. And then, then, <laughs> we know, we know. We know. And then Terrence Mann, and then Ter then Terrence Mann plays too low. So Kyrie ever going to be able to get his shots off. Cause, cause Terrence Mann defense. He, now he remind me of the defense. He remind me of the defense that my coach used to try to preach to us. He said you got like you sit on the toilet. That's how he play defense and shit. And that's how niggas be able to shoot over him a lot because he played too much. That's that's bad defense. That's a bad defense philosophy though. Man, Kyrie. I mean. He's a great player. Why, 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 why you think Mark Jackson? I used to say, oh uh, man. Hey, hand down. Hey, when that hand down, that nigga going up on you. Hand His hand down. be down hand, a lot. That hand ain't gonna be hand down. Hand down, man down, nigga. That Every time that down. hand down, man down, nigga. At, 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 at the end of the day, y'all tripping. Nobody in the NBA could help contain Kyrie Irving. Nobody. Well, nobody the can't. What, what the Celtics did it? Now, speaking of the Celtics, 
No, 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 no. Speaking, no, no. Speaking of that, and I can answer that question. He only had a good game one. Only game one. Was hey, good. You, you, you game said one. a statement. I for the tell you. I for the respond. Don't you remember? That's the same year that the NBA tried to basically get Kyrie Irving out the league because he said that shit about the uh, about the uh, that documentary that he spoke upon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so he was blackballed that year. So I really don't. Put that year on him when they got that ass kicked by Boston. Now he barely played because he got suspended by the league. He got well, suspended he by the team. Night. And honestly, but, the honestly, and Elaine and Gavash, because his boy was on the team, it was just complete total dysfunction with the front they, office and the players. But but, the but Harden remember, felt like I, he was lied to. Kevin Durant felt like he was lied to. And plus, Harden and KD didn't like out of front but, office. But late in that year. year. Remember late in that you year, he played. That, bro. But he played like that season. He and then, then none of them niggas like he was I think it was Sharp. He dropped 60. Then none of them niggas fuck with Steve Nash. Come on, Steve Nash got fired after early in the year, that year. Man, Herm just be lying and talking, man. That's all he be yeah, he does. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Because yeah. he a Clipper hater. No, he really a Kawhi hater. That's what he is. Man, look. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, be y'all be talking cash shit like y'all know what y'all talking about when I bring the same logic that y'all stupid asses use. You yeah, guys want to say got all you, you bullshit, but you I, I, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling the truth, Atlanta. Nigga, nigga, you from Memphis, nigga? You from Memphis? Y'all ain't got no logic in Memphis. Nigga. Shit, you from Houston, nigga? Y'all want to be like Memphis, nigga? Nigga, nigga? You made y'all. You, crazy, you made y'all, nigga. 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 He made y'all. Nigga, y'all come to Houston to score y'all shit. Nigga, fuck you talking about. No, nah, I mean y'all had the y'all had the y'all had the best prices back then. Yeah, uh, I still do. <laughs> I mean, I mean now y'all kind of yeah y'all selling that bullshit fuck now. Yeah, y'all y'all ain't on what y'all used you to. You crazy be, as hell, nigga. <laughs> they, 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 they ain't got that good lean like they. Nigga, used to. nigga, we the number one hustle city in America, nigga. They, ain't, they ain't got that. They ain't got that good <laughs> lean like they used to. Stop, nigga. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, like this, why y'all niggas don't know nothing about Houston, nigga. This is a hustle town, nigga. Yeah, like, it's the police town too. Man. Right, you, know you crazy as hell, nigga. Yeah, I turn the state, nigga. We got so many black police around this motherfucker, man. You crazy? But they turn the state in Houston. Man, man. Nigga, Ooh. you go to nigga, you go to jail in Houston. I don't give a damn what you do. You gonna get a hundred dollar bond, nigga. <laughs> you know, you know, your bond gonna be a hundred dollars. Yo, Olivia, for doing anything, it's just a hundred. It don't matter. Anything, <laughs> anything, anything, anything less than murder. Nigga, your shit gonna be a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they 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 actually trying to hide you for that dope nigga, though. This a, this a different kind of city over here, nigga. They trying to hide you for the dope though, lady. Man, it's a hustle town, nigga. Nah, it's a whole it's a it's a whole town full of holes. That's what it is. Full of holes. It's a bunch of boxes. Bunch of boxes around this motherfucker. Nah, 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 nah. Them, them, them holes be nah. Them hoes be finessing them niggas, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, they be finessing y'all out of town, niggas that don't know how to do no, it. No, they, no, they don't. We, we, we'll we go to Houston. We, we, to we'll, now, one thing about the Memphis, nigga. No, no, one thing about the Memphis, nigga. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go to Houston, take one of them bitches. We'll get them bitches to sell pussy for us, nigga. You got to understand the acronym. You got to understand the acronym yeah. what Memphis stand for. Make man, it easy man. money, pippa hoes, and serious, nigga. Man, that's the acronym. Man, these hoes had you, you said We, 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 we. Hey, we brought Pippin we brought Pippin to the light. Hey, these hoes had you selling dick, nigga. <laughs> you got these hoes fucked up, nigga. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, if, if the price is right, hey, lady, if the price is right, I probably will sell a four. You hoes had your ass on the <laughs> <laughs> hey, lady, if the price is right, I probably would sell it. Hey, you look, man, look. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, at the end of the day, though, lady, man, we got to be honest, though. I want to be too comfortable and want to play them. Nigga. Now, if, if Luca was still by himself, I got the Clippers in five games. Kyrie Irving is a different animal. Niggas like niggas like to talk about playoff Kawhi, playoff. There's a playoff. Business. Yeah, playoff Kawhi. It's a real thing. Now, now, hold on though. Yeah, but, but playoff Irving is a totally different thing too. That's why he got swept. That's why he got swept. That's why he got swept. Hold on, hold on. 2020, hey, 2017. Even though the Cavs got gentlemen swept, Kyrie Irving, honestly, 
was, was the better player to me in that series than LeBron James. He was killing. Average 29. It's just that they didn't have an answer for Kevin Durant. Outside of that, if it was just them and Kevin Durant wasn't on that team, man, the, the Cavs would have beat Golden State again. 2016. Why do you think they came back for 3-1? Hey. Back-to-back hey, quarter-point games. Hey, then he played great defense on Steph Curry. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest not a warrior. Hold on, hold on. I want to see what Lanny is going to say now. I, I, I don't want to oh. play Dallas. I like Dallas. I like their team. I don't want to play them niggas. I want to kind of root for them niggas. But, uh, you know, we'll beat them niggas if we got to, bro. Yo, salute, okay. Herm. I'm going to tell you salute, something. Salute, Steve. We ain't going home for his round. We ain't going home for his round. I, I don't know, Lanny, man. Sneed, what's your thoughts, man? Am I, am I going overboard with saying Dallas can beat the Clippers in the first round? Absolutely, Dallas can beat the Clippers. Why the hell not? Why not? They're playing good ball. You, you're seeing Luca, you know, distributing a little bit more. More guys getting involved. They got bigger roles on the team. And now. he did say he was robbing to Kyrie <laughs> Irving, Batman. He did say Kyrie Irving is Batman. So that let you that let me know that he's willing to he's willing to be a facilitator. Oh the, thing, the thing the thing that Ant was saying, bro, that I got problem with, right? It's like what? he's talking about. He's talking about playoff Kawhi. When did you last see playoff Kawhi? <laughs> what? What? Wait, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. We saw him. I mean, he got injured, but we saw him last season. I mean, that's playoff game. Kawhi. But he was getting balling. injured. He wasn't he injured. balling the first since, two games? Since, since you guys like to put labels so how long on guys. Did playoff Kawhi exist for last year? Uh, only two, two games. games. <laughs> only two games, but he was balling. It was only two yeah, games. But Jeremy, Jeremy Lin had an 18 game run. Come on, bro. All right. All right. All right. The last time we saw a playoff Kawhi, I was, you know, with, um, I mean, through the whole playoffs was with Toronto. But since he's been with the Clippers, he's been getting anxious. Bro, what year was that? That was 2019. Come on. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to remind you of that, bro. But was he all right? The year that he played Utah when he got hurt, was he balling? He, he matter of fact, he beat him because the he first round. Balling, he beat but, the thing, but Ant, that's the thing that we expect now. So you expect was, him to get hurt? Come on, man! Don't do that. Don't say no, that. No, no, no. The things that happen with the Clippers, the things that happen with injury-prone players, well, we that got is more like likely to happen. Ten hours waiting down here to come down here and try to get that shit. Not no, not no, Moto. Yo, Sneed. Yo, Sneed. Sneed. Yo, Sneed. Yo, let me ask Sneed something. Who you taking playoff? Who you taking playoff Kawhi or playoff Jimmy? Huh? I take playoff Jimmy. What? Absolutely. And he did it with less players. He did it with less talent. Kawhi Leonard always had talent around him, unlike Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. All right, all right. Let me tell you something, huh? Did Did Jimmy Butler have have Kyle Lowry? When Kyle Lowry played with um with um Kawhi, he got a chip. He nah, played nah, with nah, Jimmy. Nah, and they don't playing. win nothing. They don't win nothing. Like, right? come on, bro. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler didn't play with Kyle Lowry in, in Miami. He did, bro, but that was after. Y'all come on, but last season with Kyle Lowry, asking, he lost. Yeah, me, but he's not the same. You're he's not an all star player. Anymore. You're asking he's, me to pick a player who was down, yeah, last yeah, elite five Abel, years ago. I can't do that. Send them right. So Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi got a whole franchise in ring. They will never win a ring again, Toronto. They will never win again. So what does that have to do with Jimmy Butler? No, no. Cause, Cause I always say playoff Jimmy is a real thing. No, playoff Kawhi is the real thing. That's the real thing. Playoff Jimmy is a much more recent thing. Back to Memphis with a big block of flowers. What you said, Olivia? Talking to her, man. Mm. Fuck my hand. I'll take a playoff Kawhi. He's the best play. What? what though he got his playoff stats is crazy, bro. Come on, cut it out. I can respect it, man, but I don't see that being the case this year. I mean, it's getting late in his career, and he's injury prone. These are bad knees, you know, like. You know, it's it's just hard to expect that. I think I think your expectations for Kawhi are too high. Kawhi healthy, sweet. Uh, I, I I look I look at Kawhi. I don't want to say like how I look at LeBron right now because LeBron's older, but I think Kawhi's got a lot of hard miles on his body, man. And I have different expectations for him. I think Paul George got to do a little bit more. 
Yeah, he got to be helpful. PG. Yeah, he is got to be but helpful. But we can't. But but Kawhi. But Paul George can't do it. We've seen it. We've I think. I think their there. identity. Their identity got to be on the defensive end. You know, I don't. I don't expect them to come out and just be flame throwing. But three. interior. But interior. Yo, yo. Many, and they're not good defensively. They're very average in, on the inside. Hey, you gotta play team defense, man. You gotta uh, you gotta help Zubac out. You can't expect, expect Zubac to stop everything that touched the lane. You gotta help him out. Everybody gotta be bro, on. Zub is not a good player, bro. Huh? Zub is not very good. He's a decent player. I mean, he's not a great player. I see. I see that guy making a lot. Like when I was watching the game last week, they were bringing the ball into him in the pan. He was dropping the ball, turnovers. I mean, that's why they lost that game. <laughs> Yeah, like, specifically, it was turnovers, like, and it was all in the third and fourth quarter. So they they're playing messy in the second half of the game. I don't blame that all on Zuba. I blame that on the team. No, you are right. He is clumsy with the ball. <laughs> he is so, so what, what am I supposed to expect in the playoffs when Zubox is on the floor, and, and they and they can't really run an effective offense if if. Paul George doesn't have it going, or Kawhi doesn't have it going, or that one of them's on the bench, or something happens. Like, what, 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 you're telling me that Dallas isn't better in that case, man. Dallas would be a better team. But what Dallas, what Dallas gonna do if if, if uh, Kyrie don't get it going, or, or if Luke yeah. Crickets. See what I'm saying? No, 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 I, I can't answer that. I thought Snee was going to say something, but I, I can't answer that, Elaine. You got the, the difference with Luka and Kyrie, they'll get to the paint. They, they'll they penetrate defenses and get to that free throw line. The only nigga that I possibly – there's only one nigga on your team that obviously loves to get to the free throw line, and that's James Harden. But you can't rely upon James Harden to do that game in and game out for a whole series, and we understand why with this playoff track worker. With, see, the Clippers are too reliant on those jump shots. That's going to bite them in the ass in the playoffs. You, you got to be able to penetrate the goal. You got to be able to drive. And that's something that Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic actually does a lot. They penetrate defenses a lot, so they go get to that free throw line. They go get there. That's the difference between them as well. So you can say they're not gonna have it going, but one thing about them two niggas, they'll get to that free throw line. I don't see that with the Clippers consistently. Harden maybe can, Kawhi here and there, but Paul George, hell no. <laughs> hell no. So wait, wait. Let me. I can show him. You think? Oh, Paul George is the X Factor. I honestly think James Harden is the X Factor. Um, oh, you think James Harden? I think I think end of the day, Paul George is what he is. But see, the thing with James Harden though, he's shown the capabilities that he could play a lead in the playoffs. It's just that when they get to that game mm -hmm. six or seven for some reason, he he get away from what he typically does. Um, but, I mean, we seen him at his best. Despite of that but bad a, game seven, I think James Harden did an absolutely great job against go, that Golden State Super Team. Golden State, yeah, yeah. When it was but, 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 but Paul George. Uh, yeah, he had 32 in that game seven. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he did a great job. But see, with Paul George, when you look at Paul George's whole playoff career, he really, he really never shown you that he could do that. You know what I'm saying? When you actually – Look at it. People people love to give him credit to Indiana. That was the team thing. He had a lot of veteran leadership. He had a lot of guys that knew how to play their roles. And they were very physical. And they was bigger. They was big bigger than a lot of those teams in the East. Um when you look at when you look at his stands of OKC, hey, he got cooked by Dame Lillard and got cooked by Ricky Donovan Mitchell. And he was assigned to those guys because he was obviously the best, best defender on their team, supposedly. And he didn't hold up to his end of the bargain containing those guys. And he got cooked. But, so, but, 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 I don't, but a different. I don't, I don't, Yeah, to me, hard Yo, is the X Factor. Yo, her. But the difference now, they not they doesn't need Paul George for the help. Remember, Kawhi is the man. 
But they doesn't need him for the help. See, see, this is why I hate when y'all do that. Because the thing, as great as Michael Jordan was, as great as he was averaging 40, 40 plus points a game in a lot of playoff series, you want to know why he kept getting his ass kicked? Because he didn't have the right type of teammates around him for him to for him to win, for his talent to to over to beat those good teams he was going against. See, Kawhi Leonard, as great as he may be, and Paul George – Keep doing the mediocre shit he been doing. If Giants hard to keep doing the mediocre shit he been doing. If they still have identity issues, I don't give a damn. Kawhi Leonard can average can average thirty eight, shoot 60, 50, 90. They he won't win. He ain't gonna they do won't it. win. I don't know. Now, why, I don't know why they expecting Kawhi. Like I don't know why Ant and Thomas these niggas talking about Kawhi gonna be the best player in the playoff. No, he doesn't. No, he not. Kawhi, oh Kawhi, Kawhi can't can't put up near the numbers that Joker gonna put up. So let's stop that shit. He ain't gonna be the best player in the playoffs. Now I ain't gonna say he ain't gonna turn it up. Probably, uh, hopefully he can give us like 27, 27, uh -oh. 27. But Atlanta. Uh, so you went. So you said Paul George got to step it up. That's what you said. Uh, Paul George got to step it up. Harden got to step it up. Uh, Westbrook got to step it up. No one power got to step it up. No one power. Yeah. Zuba got, got an average of double double throughout Zuba this playoff. Gotta step up. Everybody got to step up, man. This man. Gonna be, it's going to take it a team. ain't going to be no Kawhi takeover, bro. Kawhi, ain't, he ain't that player. I ain't seen that from him. I seen it in the 25 and 5 streak we went on, but uh, I don't know. I don't think he can really. I don't think he, he ain't going to give you that 35 a game like he was doing against D Dallas and all that shit. He ain't gonna be able to do that no more. I don't see that. You don't think, yo, yeah, but this is what I'm saying. Kawhi is good for two wins. I think he's good for two wins. Now, how do you no, win? I, I, think, I, think, I think he's good for majority of a series, but the thing is, you guys think when you guys say the playoff Kawhi bullshit, I see LeBron James. Oh, LeBron James in 2017 averaged 33.6, 12 rebounds, 10 assists, and shooting 58% from the field and still lost. But he was playing against us. Uh, come on. Now, he was playing the Warriors, point. man. That's the whole <laughs> Wait, point. So, so when you play against the Warriors, that now, was just not the saying, Warriors. But what I'm saying, and when the Clippers play against a good ass team, Kawhi could put up those same numbers and they still could lose. And niggas like, don't so you think. Nah, so that's, you're saying, not that's not true because he got too much help. If Kawhi do put up them numbers, it's over for the NBA, nigga. Yeah, that's the, the only team I'm wearing about is Denver. That's it. Only Denver. That's it. If Kawhi come out there, man, if he come out there Terminator like he like he known to do, it's going to be a problem for the NBA. Well, at least I know one thing. He never going to score 50 points in the game. Nah, he ain't going to do that. But he, I don't think he really tried. He don't try to do that. You know what I'm saying? He tried one time, Melanie. He just couldn't do it, though. He, he had about 46. He when he had about 46, he couldn't do it. He had 45. He, he, stayed in the yeah, rhythm. he had 45. He didn't, he didn't get out of his rhythm. You know what I'm saying? He stay in his – he do his shit at his own pace. So he ain't going to overdo nothing. That's just how he is. Now, he can score 50 if he wanted to, bro. Let's be honest. He can – if he really wanted to go score 50, he would have been a score 50. He's just not that nigga. He's not that he type. Uh, the thing yeah. is, Elaine, the reason I give him Dallas for props, though, because they are peaking <coughs> at the right time. Uh, Luca, Luca finally accepting the role that, man, maybe, maybe I could trust my teammates more. And he realized that, man, I got to let Kyrie be Kyrie. I don't have to, I don't have to do – I don't have to force shit like I used to. And I think he's understanding that more, Lanny. And, and, and I think Dallas are coming together as a unit. They got the right pieces. People don't realize the addition of Gafford and PJ Washington. I think that was I think that was great for them. And they still got some young, they got some young talent. They got their lottery pick. Um the green kid could shoot get hot in the instant. Uh, Dante Exum plays his role for Philly. He finally accepting the role because people thought he was going to be more than what he ended up being. But he, he's accepted the role that I'm alone. I'm a 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, guy. I'm long. I'm still athletic. I'm still quick. 
I'm gonna take the assignment of playing defense, and and I, and I think for Jason Kidd to get him to buy into doing it, I I think that I think they've been doing a hell of a job. Um, and and I think Dallas a real deal threat to anybody in the rest of the conference. People say right. they're a threat to them. I heard I've been hearing the lane they say oh uh, Dallas a threat to Denver. If Dallas a threat to Denver, how in the hell they can't be a threat to the Clippers? Clippers ain't better than but, the Nuggets. But the Clippers is a threat to um, Denver too, though. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Clippers don't but see here's my problem with Clipper Nation. They don't they they haven't earned the right to say they're a threat to anybody yet. They just need to get it done. Just get it done. What 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 Dallas and could be a threat? Need, and, 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 and the fans need to stop talking and the fans need to stop acting like they just guaranteed to get it done. They haven't proven it. They haven't shown flashes of it. So they, they gotta earn it. They gotta just buckle down. People take one game at a time because I know that's that's how Atlanta move. I know that's how Showtime move. So, so in, in, in the game, you, you switch up too much, man. You just switch up, man. No, I'm still a Pacer fan. Your, your, in, your Indiana Pacers blew out the Clippers. All you think about is Kawhi Leonard, though. Yeah, that, we that blew out the Lakers too. We beat the Lakers too. I mean, what type of shit is that, man? Your team blew out a nigga because you you so in love with a player. You worried about Kawhi Leonard. You ain't worried about how your Pacers dominated the, the Clippers. You worried yeah, about Kawhi. You worried about Ty Lue, and you worried about other shit going on with the Clippers. I'm still worried about my Pacers. Like, what are you talking about? Well, we, we talk about Kawhi right now. And you don't even care about the Clippers. You just care about Kawhi. Oh. Uh, so I'm a, I don't care. I don't care about nobody on the team, Bobby Kawhi. That's it. Uh, yeah, I'm a pay. I'm a, what about Paul George? He used to play for my Pacers. Yeah, they choked too. They should have beat Miami. Yeah, what you talking about? When we went seven, when we went seven that year. Yeah, could have had that yeah. win. That would have been huge for his legacy. He would have yeah, shot Miami did. Heat. And y'all damn sure should have beat Toronto. But, but, oh, you talking about round one? But, but Toronto was the favorites in that series. Well, we, yeah, yo, 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 tell you the truth, it, Herm. I didn't even think that was gonna. A, a, oh, stop it's it. bad. It's, it's Snee. Here's the crazy part: they be killing Demar Derozan, but Demar Derozan beat Paul George. I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta cook Paul George, and y'all cook Demar Derozan. But we wasn't good at that time. We was like the um seventh seed that year. We was a seventh seed. Yeah, but Herm, I'm glad you mentioned the Mavericks today, man. I, I've been watching the Mavs recently. They are looking good, man. Man, they fourteen to six last twenty they are games, looking good. man. They can't, you know, they can't, everybody's they making these videos over. now, these live streams now, talking about, you know, who's the most dangerous team. You got to start putting them in the conversation if they stay hot like this. And you know, having a better record overall for the year doesn't really have the same weight as a team that got really hot at the end, really came together. So to me, going, what'd you say, fourteen and four, fourteen and six in the last twenty? Yeah, fourteen to six, man. Yeah, that's they, meaningful, man. Great. That means they're putting it together and they're finding their groove, and guys and are getting in their role at the right time, right? And, and, and Mario wanted me to ask you this question: Ant. What you the say, can, Pacers? Can, we got can, can, can you name six players Turner, off the Pacers? Miles Turner. I just named them: Miles Turner, Tyrese Halliburton. Uh -huh. You heard me? Yeah, I that's it. That's all I got to name. I don't care I about them. Too. I don't care about them. I, you're well, not, we got you're not a Pacers fan, man. You know, we got Smith, he okay. Fan. We don't have to have many good players, man. We only got two. Y'all, y'all, Dan, they got the Rick of the Year. The only reason he's not going to win it because of Wimby. We and, got and, and OP Shen. Toppin. We got OP Toppin. From I mean, the but y'all got, got one of the best rookies in the league. And you, and you didn't name him, but he's not gonna win. Like, what are you talking about? He's not gonna win. I'm just saying he's still one of the best. Well, we got Nemhart. Nemhart. He nice with the mid range.
Hey, Mario, let, let, uh, let rebranded in. Rebranded backstage. I got oh, a Dallas Mavericks fan. He a Mavericks fan, though. He deserves Yeah, he's going to come in. Come in and talk BS. That's what he going to do. Oh. I mean, hey, you you can relate to that because that's what you do. <laughs> oh, I feel BS. Bro. Bro. <laughs> and going to be mad once he starts talking facts. That's why Ant's going to be pissed. Because <laughs> yeah. if people really think that the Clippers are outright just better than the Mavericks, they out there damn mind. No, they I ain't said they mind. outright better. I'm not saying that, but they are better. It's not outright better, but they better. <laughs> Look at A1, A11 gravy. That boy crazy as hell. He said the NBA champ's going to come out the West. Nah, he was he was talking about your ass name. What's what's good, rebranding, man? Hey, this 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 your type of show right here, man. Oh my am I, god! And I'm capping. And I'm capping about your daddy's marriage beating the Clippers in the first round. Cause that's what I think going to happen. Yeah, if we meet up, we beating them. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come up here and talk about we sweeping them. It's not gonna be a sweep. You know, I got too much respect for Kawhi Leonard, especially if he's playing. I got too much respect for him. Um, but yeah, we we we're beating them, right? Like you know, we hear a lot of the Clippers fans talk about, oh yeah, we own them in the playoffs. Yeah, but like this is the best roster Luka Doncic has had since getting to Dallas. So if you think it's gonna be the same results, you you're sadly mistaken. Um, okay. We we have a core around them. I tr- listen. I trust Luka Doncic in the playoffs more than I trust Paul George or uh, James Harden. Or Russell Westbrook. I trust Kyrie Irving more than I trust all of them, except for, you know, maybe Kawhi right. Leonard. Right? Um, but even in the play- – listen, I actually trust Kyrie Irving because he's actually available. Right? So, at the end of the day, I, I think Clippers fans, listen, there's not really many teams y'all want to see right now. Honestly, I'm going to be tr- – like, I'm going to be really real with y'all. Like, out of the teams that are actually in the playoffs – as we speak right now, whether we're talking the West or the East, y'all are probably the coldest team. Like, you niggas really don't even want to see Houston right now if it came down to a fight. Oh, no, don't do that. Now I'll you see honest, a couple of things with you. You know, um, and like I said, I think we, I said it yesterday, bro. Like, a lot of the – y'all may deem it as Clipper hate, Clipper disrespect, but I think a lot of the things that y'all are hearing, a lot of the speaking points that y'all are hearing from people is, we listen, y'all have disappointed us because the Clippers fans – I mean, Clip, the Clippers team, when they got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, it was like, oh, shit. They might run the West for the next five to ten years. And you have, I mean, y'all have disappointed. At least the Lakers got a ring out of this shit. You you guys have been a disappointment after a disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. So at this point, a lot of what you're hearing is just disappointment coming from us. I have no but, reason to hate the Clippers. Like, y'all not a threat. But Brandon, but Brandon um, Kawhi got hurt two times in the playoffs. But listen, Wait. But listen, so at the end of the day, injuries happen. It sucks when it happens, but that's more the reason where we don't trust you. Because we like why would this this is the, 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 the one story that keeps happening with Kawhi Leonard is that okay, he's hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt. Okay, at what point does we can't keep living off of twenty nineteen? Right? Because we see a player that's actually won more recently that doesn't get the same grace that Kawhi Leonard gets. LeBron won in well, 2020 and we still don't – listen, no, Le, LeBron won in 2020, and, and he still he still got to prove himself every year, right? Uh, Giannis just won, and he still got to prove himself. Why is it that Kawhi Leonard gets to still be on this – this? well, he brought a ring to Toronto as though Toronto didn't have the number one seed the year prior, and Toronto didn't have a solid-ass team around Kawhi Leonard. The, all right, the year before they got so swept. Did they get right. swept by the Clap? The, they got swept. They get, so they wasn't that good. Who they get swept by? But by the Clap. LeBron James. I mean, but but if you lose it to LeBron James, that's not an embarrassment, though. You know what I'm saying? Like how the Clippers, how the Clippers blew a three-one lead against the young, different Nuggets that never, that really never done nothing in the Murray and Jokic era. That was embarrassing. Um, and, 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 yeah, yeah, and, no, I ain't gonna lie. That was embarrassing. They hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, but Ant, but Ant, even to your point. Right? What you said? Hold on, even to your point, right? Because you just acknowledged something, and I'm glad that you actually, you know, you know that about the gang, right? Is that the Toronto Raptors were the number one seed, right? So, what other star player would get credit 
for going to a team that was already a number one seed and winning the championship. No. Why? Why? Uh, this is why he could... ring to Toronto. Why is it that it just wasn't Toronto's time? He was a very pivotal there was part no... in it. But they but there was no. Already. But that was known for choking, though. Remember, they used to always choke. They kept running. Listen, they kept running. They, listen, they kept running into LeBron James the same way Michael Jordan. No, not only LeBron. See, 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 that's when y'all lying. They didn't only run into LeBron. They lost to the um the old ass Brooklyn. Remember with um Paul Pierce and KG beat them one year, and and the Wizards took them out one year. So it wasn't only LeBron. Listen, <laughs> the year that they lost when they had the number one seed. When they were arguably one of the best in the East, they lost to LeBron. And I'm not, this is not to praise LeBron, but what I'm saying is we've seen teams have to get over the hump. When those bull uh, teams oh, that, run into the Pistons. All right, let me ask you something, Brad. That when, same when, year, uh, you don't think Boston was better than Boston would have beat Toronto too? They would have beat them too. Okay, I mean, we, I mean, we're going on hypotheticals. We, uh, we literally, I'm yeah, I know that's a hypothetical, but. I'm just saying, I think Boston was better than them that year. That's how okay. I felt. Yeah, but I'm telling you what happened, right? So the number one seed, this is what I'm saying. The number one seed went out and acquired a, a bona fide stud of a player in Kawhi Leonard. And yet y'all want to tell us that Kawhi Leonard just saved the Toronto Raptors. All right. They, so but they lost hold on, listen, listen. So if he just right. saved the Toronto Raptors, with, with, why can't he just save the Clippers? Because he's been injured. Okay, so that once again, at the end of the day, we I'm not gonna knock a nigga for getting hurt, but you got a kind of availability, best ability type thing. Yeah. Well, all right, so the way we can't. All right, the way it's looking. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, go ahead, my bad. No, no, I'm saying the way it's looking right now. Mm -hmm. He's healthy. That's the way it's looking. So I'm expecting him to do things. If they get bumped, why he healthy is not I can say. <laughs> listen, I look. Listen, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I wouldn't be surprised, and I'm not wishing this on him. I don't wish injuries on people. I would not be surprised if, when the playoffs come around, there's this mysterious ass knee injury that just comes out of nowhere, and now Kawhi Leonard's out uh, for the rest of the playoffs. Type shit. At the end of the day, why? Like, I get it, y'all. The Clippers have beaten the the Mavs. I will say this: this year, there is no excuses for Luca. If we run into the Clippers. Just how I'm giving y'all flack, I'm putting the same onus on my own team. If we run into the, the Clippers this year, there's no excuse. We can't get away yeah. with that. Oh, well, they had Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. <laughs> nope. We, this is the best team that Luka Doncic has had. And listen, this is probably the biggest opportunity, the biggest chance he's going to have. So that's it. And Luka well, Doncic is you... the MVP, by the way. But go ahead. What? You think he's the MVP? Yeah, he's the MVP this year. Nah, that's Jokic. If, Joker, not, if, if, not, him, if not him, it's Jokic. I'm not, I, I wouldn't be mad yeah. with Jokic, but to yeah, yeah. say Shea Gilgis or Jason Tatum, nah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't think SEA the MVP. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. And to anybody yeah, want to bring up seeding, uh, Jokic wanted as a sixth seed. Uh, Westbrook wanted as a sixth seed as well. So if he gets at least a fifth or a fourth, I don't want to hear shit. Luka Doncic is the MVP this year. But go ahead. All right, thank you. No, tell you the truth. I wouldn't even be mad if they give it to him. I wouldn't even be back. They just might because of how hot um, Dallas been lately. Hey, and, Mac, and, and, Mac, and Macave you're right. Kyrie does get hurt, right? So at the end of the day, even if Kyrie goes down, I still like my team over the Clippers. Even if Kyrie goes down, because we still have people that can that can we we have a deep roster, right? Like now, you look at the names, you won't see. You're not gonna on paper. It doesn't look so. So I guess so smooth on paper, but our team is actually gelling right now. I don't trust Jason Kid, Jason Kid, but <laughs> we we got a roster, right? We got Tim Hardaway Jr., Josh Green. I don't know how long he's gonna be out. Maxi Maxi Kieber, he's he's trying to you know work his way back in. Derek Lively, I like him. I still feel like he's two to three years out from where we need him to be. Um, Jaden Hardy, he's up and down, but whatever him and uh, Jason Kid got going on, they got to figure that out so we can try to get him on the court some more. Um, PJ Washington, a great ad for us. Daniel Gafford, a great pickup for us. A lot of people aren't talking about the Daniel Gafford pickup. So well, let me ask you. Go ahead. No, no, I'm going to ask you. If y'all healthy through the whole playoffs, how far you think y'all can go? How far we can go? Um, man, uh, 
I got us. We could if we're healthy through the whole playoffs. Yeah, because I gotta I gotta put respect on Denver name, bro. They did they the champs. I'm not gonna disrespect them. We we at least get at a minimum we can get to the Western Conference. All right, all right, but besides, all right, besides Denver, who else? It's a threat to Dallas. In your mind, yeah, to Dallas. Let me see. Um, I don't want to be. I don't want to be like an asshole. I'm gonna I'm be real here. <laughs> I'm gonna be real here. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Minnesota. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not. That's why I was gonna say Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. I'm uh, listen, bro. They, right. they, they gonna be a threat. So I, yo, I think y'all could beat. I think y'all could beat OKC though. I think, I think we could beat. Be, I think we could beat OKC, but I don't. This is the thing. I don't have the Mavs just running away with series this 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 playoffs, right? Like we're not just gonna four old niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, it's gonna be like it, six, it's seven, be like five, six games. It might get a yeah. seven game series in there, but um. But yeah, but Minnesota is a lot of things they need to watch out for Minnesota. I think that uh, Denver needs to watch out for Minnesota. You know, but What's up? but for some reason I don't think Minnesota. I don't know. If that's me. I, I don't know about Minnesota, bro. I know they good on defense. I don't know. I don't trust them. I don't trust Ant Man. I don't trust him. No, I trust Ant Man. But I'm excited to see what Ant Man does, right? Like, yeah, year. I want to see what he do. Yeah, that's. I right, put it like this. I don't, I'm curious what he hey, do. Hey, drop the link uh, for Kings A or whatever. Kings A. Uh, I bet. Yeah, but um. Yeah, y'all not curious what Ant Man do in the playoffs? I'm gonna say it like that. Somebody said SGA is the MVP. I mean, he not, no, he's not. Point. No, hold on. I've, listen, bigger. I feel like you should come up and make a make a case for him being the MVP. I don't see why. Listen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that he shouldn't be in consideration. He should. I like SGA. I, I think he's good for the league. I want to see what he does when the playoffs comes around. I yeah, that's what I want to see. Handsome players like him, but come up. Yeah, and, but come, not, up, come up and make a make, come up and make a point for him being the MVP over Luka Doncic, who's you know damn near averaging a triple double. But yo, the reason I say SGA, well, he's the best player on. But they really playing team ball. They playing a lot of Listen, good team ball. Great, they got a great team. Like yeah, yeah. SGA, SGA. The Clippers are regretting that. I promise you, they're regretting that. Right? Well, we're not gonna just act like it's a, it's a runaway. And then even when we get into the the seedings, right? Because people always like to bring up the seedings. I thought mm -hmm. that the MVP that was for the best team is the finals MVP. I think yeah. I thought that when you actually win the finals and you prove that you're the best team, that's when you should get the MVP. I don't think that the the standings should be the biggest catalyst for you winning the MVP in a regular season. Are you no, the best player? Me. Yes or no? No. But you think all right. But it depends what season like Luca having a good year. Like Great year. he could be the MVP. But why don't they get bounced in the first round? You can't take it from him. That he he the MVP. This is why I'm saying we should not base the MVP off of this. If the best team, right, the, the, the best team is the team that wins the finals. So give that yeah. person the MVP, the best player on that team. That's what the finals MVP should be for. Now, we're talking regular season MVP. Who was the best player? Who the best player right now? It probably is. It probably is. Luka and, and Joe. Luka, and Joe. You got Giannis. And Joe. Shooting crazy, you got fucking uh 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 Jokic. But yo, oh Brandon, I saw a stat last night. Um, um, Milwaukee was 0 5 without Dame this year, but they probably won. What that mean? Would that mean anything? <laughs> no, it don't mean anything. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, bro, I'm gonna be real. Like we, that team still has to find a way to jail, right? Like we see teams that get put together and we expect them to immediately have it together and win. The the Beatles, I mean the Heatles didn't do the shit the first year. You gotta give teams like time to jail. Dame is going through a lot of shit right now. Yeah, right? but but this, an excuse. But this is what I'm saying. You can't make these stats up. They was 0-5 the games he missed. So uh, is he the MVP of Milwaukee? No. We know he not. <laughs> You said, well, I'm sorry. You went out. Go ahead. 
No, I went out. Oh, I was saying it was Owen Fly. You can hear me? Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I'm just saying Milwaukee was 0-5 without Dane. But he's not the, the best player. I'm the MVP of that team. Okay. That's Giannis. Look, let me let me let me ask you, Ed. Um is and, I mean is uh is is Dane arguably arguably the best player in the league right now? No. No. So I'm gonna tell you like my dog Sturdy always be saying, bro, we gotta use common sense when we talking to someone. No, I was questions. making a no, no, I no, no I, I was no, no, making no, listen, a I see the point that uh, you tried to make. You tried to correlate yeah. Dane. Yeah, that don't really mean nothing. Right? Without him, like, that's supposed to mean yeah. that he's the biggest yeah. factor on that team. He's not the biggest factor on that team. Yeah, he's I not. What yeah, that's what no, I was Good. saying that people will think that. They go, oh, he, oh, that don't mean nothing. Giannis is the best player on the team, period, in the store. Yeah, facts. And then we got Bigger in the, in the, in the, in the chat talking about Luca's a stat pattern. Y'all gotta stop using this stat pattern thing is a is a knock, right? Because if a stat padding was so easy, why isn't everyone doing it? Yeah, uh, yo, the, like, come on, why, like, why can't everybody do it? You gotta, you got a so, white boy. I've actually seen Luca play live, right? I'm I'm here in Dallas. I've seen him play live. You got a white uh -huh. boy that's slow as shit, getting his getting his shit off on faster, stronger players. Yo, I think so, you were saying that yesterday. I was listening. You say you saw him live. He's slow. In yeah, real life, Luca, I can. Yeah, yeah Luke, Luke. He's slow as shit, bro. I got videos. I can. Yeah, he's slow. He's score. slow. Yeah, he's slow as shit, bro. Like he's not out there like De'Aaron Fox and shit, just running past motherfuckers. Like, nah, he's slow <laughs> as fuck. He he get a lot of screens and shit, man. He just you know for sure. He just he a baller. That nigga a bucket, man. He he truly knows how to manipulate the game. Yeah, he, yes. been playing, he been playing since he fucking sixteen. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, nice, bro. He know his shot. He know what he can do. You know what he can't do. You feel me? Like, nigga, nice man. Shit, that nigga gonna be. That, who, hey, he gonna read forty. Hey, y'all talking about that nigga? Luke gonna read forty, forty thousand if he if he can. If he well, that gonna take a lot. But I mean, cause LeBron did it. You know that shit. That shit kind of hard to do. But if he keep going like this, you know what I'm saying? I think he if he, can. If he stay healthy, like uh, yeah, if he stay healthy, there you go. He yeah, stay healthy. Cause LeBron stay healthy. That shit. Just amazing right there, cause you can't stay healthy just do that for a long time. Then what? You gotta average what twenty plus for like what twenty twenty years? Cause it look yeah, like, like twenty seven, almost twenty eight. Yeah, cause LeBron gonna have to push it. LeBron about to push it to like forty two or some shit, forty five. Well, we don't hey, know. Zay, hey, uh, Zay, do, do you think uh, do you think the Mavs can beat the Clippers? The Mavs can beat the Clippers in seven game series. Shit, I mean. Luca don't add it more. See, Luke is different now because Luca don't add it. Luca don't add it more. Um, Luca don't add it more players now. You know what I'm saying? So it might be a little different. I think. I think they can go. I think, I think they have a chance of being. You know what I'm saying? Um, cause like I said, this is a totally different Luca team now, boy. Like they yeah. added guys and they started jail. Uh. I mean, you know the Clippers, though, bro. You know how the Clippers is. I mean, I understand they've been hurt and stuff, but I think they're going to battle, bro. You feel me? It go either way. How about that? Because I'm split because I'm just like, yeah, Luke do his thing. Then you got Kyrie now to take up the load because, you know, Luke get a little tired. And then mm -hmm. you got to let, let bro cook. You know what I'm saying? And like bro was saying, like Brandon was saying about um, uh, what the dude named the center y'all got? Uh, what is that? Lively, not, not lively and gaffer. That bro, that's that shit. That helps out because they gonna do dirty work. Them niggas ain't worry about you. Got to worry about them getting them in real. They just gonna do their thing. They got Tim Hardaway over there, the three ball ready. You know what I'm saying? I saw his dad talking shit too. I don't know if you seen it on uh, rebranding um, on uh, Ooh, Tim? the uh, Miami. Tim, uh, Tim, dad was Tim, Tim Hardaway, Tim Hardaway, oh, nice yeah. Nice he had said something like about the offense uh, that they run over there. And Dallas, hey, Zay, I gotta say something to oh, my, my boy. Go I gotta say something to my boy. Hey, Pagan. Uh, the 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 Pistons, the Bulls used to be the Pistons beating stick, but guess what happened? The Bulls finally overcame that. So you can't act as if because y'all won two series against Luca that didn't had the adequate help at the time to compete with y'all. Like the same thing is going to happen. Eventually, Luca the guy, he's better than what he was in those two series. And, and can I interject real quick? Go ahead, go uh, ahead, Drew. Right. The thing about 
2019, I mean, the bubble, whatever, they got that, right? 2021, they shouldn't even have won that game against us. All we needed was 10 points from Porzingis, and we get them out of there. So they really can't oh say much about God. 2021, right? Oh, my God. No, they really can't say much about that. Oh, we got to take that L. It happened. We can't no, they, no, they got it. They got it. it. They got it. I mean, they won, <laughs> but they won't beat us in 2024. That's so why the, all right, so what the, uh, the other series when it went seven? Why they couldn't win the home game? Dallas couldn't win the home game. Why? Because Chris that's four thing went flat. No, they no game hey, seven. Man, if, you the, if you look at the box numbers, bro, game seven, we had enough, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Hey y'all. Uh, hey y'all uh, close it out. Hey y'all, uh, trickle for the go on on this other channel. So oh, I got sure. this strain down. So oh. salute to y'all. And rebrand. I'm gonna chop chop it up with your best son that I got going. I'm for the cook oh, up something else. But, but, uh, uh, but yeah, hit me in the, uh, the Discord, bro. Bet, bet, man. Salute to y'all. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all not subscribe, subscribe. Hey, Salute to y'all. I'm out, y'all. Ain't heard what Discord. Oh, good. No. Hey, yeah, hey, it's, hey. It's, it's, it's off another platform. Oh, no, yeah. platform. All right, yeah. I'm gonna have to link up with y'all and get all there. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Salute to y'all. Drop your number, Her, drop your number in the old uh, what you call. All right, I put in the overall chat. I got you. All right. All right. All right.